everyone. I'm Yuan Yuan, a second year PhD student from Electrical Engineering and Tudo. It's a great honor to be a member of Clean Energy Fellow this year. So today I'm going to introduce my work on using energy storage to help data center reduce their electricity bill in power market. As we all know, management of data center power consumption is becoming increasingly important as data center grow both in size and quantity. Large IT companies like Microsoft and Google, they have hundreds of data centers across the world existing or under construction. At the meantime, data center power consumption is raising serious concern. A large data center may spend hundreds or millions of dollars every year to pay its electricity bill. For example, for this 10 megawatt data center, 24% of its monthly cost is spending in paying the utility bill, which is roughly $730,000. So for one year, it will be more than $8 million. This is only the electricity bill for one data center. How about all? Reports shows that in 2011, $7.4 billion were used to power in the U.S. data centers, and it garnered to double in 2020. That's really a large amount of money, and we want to reduce it. How to reduce the electricity bill of the data center? Many efforts has been done in this area. One way is to improve the energy efficiency. For example, design better cooling and energy distribution system to reduce power loss. Historically, the energy efficiency of data center is very low, so it attracted lots of research attention. But now, the efficiency of data center, especially for large IT companies, already reached 95%. So there is not much room for further improvement. We go for another direction. We consider using energy storage in data center to help reduce its electricity bill. How can we make use of batteries? What are those batteries in data center? So in data center, we have many built-in batteries as backup. In case a power outage happens before the diesel generator was started, these batteries will provide uh, these batteries will provide rapid backup energy. So these batteries feature large power capacity. However, they are rarely used. For example, there are only one to two power outages happens every year and each outage is only last five to 10 minutes. So we spend, many, we spend lots of money in building these batteries. However, they are only used one hour every year and left at all the other times. So we really want to make better usage of this battery. Therefore, we consider using battery to help reduce the electricity bill of data center. As a commercial user, the electricity bill of a data center is composed of two parts. One is the energy cost, the other is the peak demand charge. How can we reduce the electricity bill by battery? So here is a power consumption curve of data center. We can see sometimes we have these peaks where the power consumption is above the average. However, in the other times, we have these valleys where the power consumption is less than the average. Therefore, we can use battery to smooth the power consumption. Charge the battery when the consumption is low, and discharge the battery to shift the peak when consumption is high. Therefore, we can reduce the total bill of the data center. What's small? So besides doing peak shaving, we can also consider using battery to gain some extra money by participating in the electricity market. For example, we can consider using battery to provide frequency regulation service. 
Frequency regulation is an ancillary power system application help balance demand and supply in power market. If a battery wants to participate in this market, it needs to charge and discharge in response to this signal, and it will receive payment in terms of its capacity and performance. And our work features joint optimization idea. So we consider using this single battery to do peak shaving and provide frequency regulation service at the same time. So here is our optimization framework. Our objective is to minimize the total electricity bill. And we include the battery physics constraint, both the battery power and energy constraint in the constraint term. And our result features we can save more than 15% of the annual electricity bill. By using half-year real data from Microsoft Data Center and PGM regulation market, we simulated more than 4,000 hours. And the average bill saving from our joint optimization framework is more than 20%. So compared with previous work, using battery for peak shaving or for regulation service, our bill saving almost doubles. For example, for the 10 megawatt data center we mentioned before, by implementing our joint optimization framework, we can help Microsoft save more than $1 million every year. In the future, we gonna to cooperate with Microsoft to implement our joint optimization in their data center. Thanks a lot for listening to this presentation. If you want to know more details about this project, please come to the showcase in June 14th and see you.